Remember, the end of every dialogue we have about things that are stumbling blocks to faith is not to win the argument, but to lead the other person to Jesus. Jesus is the ultimate answer to every question. Only He can change people. At Legacy Imperative, we're not waging a culture or political war. We're calling you to spiritual warfare. Loving Jesus and others passionately, praying for those you love, and, and sharing the gospel of Jesus with His Spirit, His attitude, His words, and His methods. We want our children and grandkids to, to get the resurrected Jesus inside of them, and then let Him change them in His way and in His time. So the ultimate end game is not to answer all the questions about God and evil. Rather, it's to lead them to trust Jesus as the answer to sin, evil, suffering, and pain. Now, if Jesus were talking to them, He would say, even though humans have messed up this world, and continue to do so by going against God's love laws. I chose to enter this world, to suffer right along with you. And by my spirit, I remain here, suffering along with you right now. Read my story in the Gospels. There's nothing bad you experience that I haven't suffered. Have you been bullied, misunderstood, called names, been an outcast, rejected, abandoned, betrayed, canceled? depressed, anxiety-ridden, and, and treated unfairly by this world? So have I, in the worst ways possible. I did it to feel what you feel, to go through what you go through, and to understand you in the deepest possible ways. No one else has done or would do for you what I've done. That's how much I love you. More than that, I took on the devil and demons when I came to this earth. I was tempted just like Adam and Eve. In fact, there's no temptation that you've ever faced that I didn't face. I know in the deepest ways how hard it is for you to deal with the garbage in your life. I've been there. I've done that. And I did it just for you. Beyond all that, I took on every bad thing that's ever happened to you or that you've ever done to someone else on myself, on the cross. My Heavenly Father punished all your sins by punishing me so that you can be free from guilt and shame. I did that because I love you more than you could ever imagine. All that I ask is you accept my love. I won't force you to do so. I want you to love me for no other reason than I love you. Put your trust in me that I've paid for all your sins. I've, I've risen from the dead and now I stand before you asking you to accept me as your Savior and Lord. There may be a lot of things you may not understand, but, but we'll work out those things as we go along. And I'll stay with you, helping you to survive and even thrive in this, this crazy mixed up world until we get to eternity together, where there'll be no more pain, no more tears, no more suffering, no more dying, just you and me forever and ever and ever.